Town in LA and I'm staying in Japan Town. Uh, and I just dropped off my luggage at the hotel and I had to eat. I'm so hungry right now, so I ran literally right across the street to a restaurant called Dai Korea, a ramen place. And I checked that, checked it up on Yelp and it's pretty high up there, so man, my expectations are high right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the ramen and small pork cutlet bowl combo. Man, because the beast is hot. I'll let you know when the food comes. So I just walked in and I already like this place. It's uh, very Japanese-esque. Feels like I'm in Japan. I've never been to Japan before, but I got that feeling. It's really packed, really busy. I was waiting in line for like 30 minutes. So, man, I'm ready. Just look at the kitchen. I do 
but it's missing something as well. I'm missing a little key. So I got to I don't know what this is. So I just finished eating at that ramen place, and it was great. Uh, let's go into details. Before that, look at that light. It's beautiful. All right, so <laughs> overall experience of that restaurant, it's pretty damn nice, because uh, it was a little hole in the wall restaurant, and the space was, the space was pretty cramped, so people were pretty much forced to sit next to each other. Uh, I sat on a, a, a booth counter, so it gave me that real nice, good experience, you know. I was pretty much elbow to elbow with other people. Uh, as far as food goes, I will say it was really, really good, but I wouldn't say that it was the best. reason why uh, the egg was a hard-boiled egg, and typically when I eat ramen, and I'm down for that soft boiled egg because I want that yolk spilling into my broth and onto my noodles. So when I slurp it up, it's all just one. Man. So yeah, the egg was a big letdown, but aside from that, the broth was on point, you know, not too salty. Uh, I thought the amount of noodles we got was pretty good. Um, I like the whole combination of bean sprouts and the abundance of green onions. It just added a lot of texture and dimension to the to the entire course of the meal. Uh, another thing that I didn't really like was their salad. Uh, I would say it's because of the, the amount of sauce they, they put in that. Man, that salad was pretty much drowned in their sauce. It was like a uh, really thick, I would say almost like a aioli based sauce, so like a mayo. Tasted like an aioli sauce. Um, it was really good, don't get me wrong, but it was just way too much. Way too rich uh, for that little small amount of salad that we get. And moving on to the last thing, the pork cutlet rice bowl. Oh my god, that was, I have to say, that was the best thing I got. Uh, pork was on point. Really thick piece of cutlet. Uh, outside was covered in sauce and egg. Man, egg just makes everything better and the rice was just oh, so good but all of that three dishes came out to $20 
I'd have to say it was pretty worth it. Uh, $20 in Seattle for a ramen. It's pretty close uh, compared to price, but taste-wise, I'd have to say LA ramen, especially that one place I ate at. Man, it was good. Anyways, if you thought the video was cool, man, make sure you comment. I like I like doing the little comment interaction. Shout out to my big fans, all right, Brian Lamb and David Zhang. All right, shout out to you guys. But uh, yeah, I'm out here in LA, Japantown. I'll see you then. We out. Peace.